So here's the first little aquaponics system that I had set up and I kind of moved it better underneath the light. But the cilantro is doing really good in it. Basil isn't so well this time even though the first time it did really well. I just wanted to make an update about this aquaponics system that I set up yesterday. Uh, today I put more hydroton in the top so now I just got a layer of hydroton and a layer of pebble, small pebble rocks and uh, on the very bottom has a layer of big river rocks and the reason I did this you can see as the water comes up here in the tube I thought that the hydroton would be better for the seedlings to get started um, the pH is obviously it's uh, balanced with the hydroton river rocks the river rocks will actually raise the pH a little bit so I may have to adjust it some since I do have rocks in it and gravel. Um, yeah, you can see how the water seeps up through the hydroton at this level. It's just barely getting the seeds moist that we put in there last night. And it drains back down. And that little basil plant that I transplanted, he was in that net cup of that basil plant down here. I took him out for two reasons, uh, hoping that he had some of the bacteria that's on his roots that have been established in this system down here because uh, this system does need beneficial bacteria. I did uh, order some online, it should be here in a couple of days, but the bacteria converts the ammonia from the fish poop to nitrites and then another bacteria converts the nitrites into nitrates making food for the plants so you know this one's getting established it's not really absorbing any ammonia out of the water and we need ammonia absorbed out of the water so it doesn't kill the fish um, but yeah I do have bacteria on the way but hopefully that transplant will transfer some bacteria into the system but yeah also I just wanted to start a little plant to see how it would do uh, so far I mean it's only been a day, but it's doing good. So yeah, and, uh, you can see, well, it overflowed last night because I was messing with the pump. It got a little bit too high, but this other ring right here is where the water level is now going to, right here. And uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Uh, oh yeah, as the water level, the water level goes to there, to that little line, you can see it reaching up to it right now, but, um, so as the plants grow, I'll add more hydroton here, and you won't really see the water come up this high, because we'll want to add some more, uh, support to their stems as they grow bigger, but, yep, that's all, just wanted to update that, oh, no, it's not at all. I added this digital timer so that way it's because last night we were sitting here in the living room and you could hear this all night long running because it's running 24 7 without a timer and every minute and 42 seconds it would do this it would drain and uh, yeah it got kind of annoying especially when we were trying to sleep it sounded like someone was flushing the toilet in our dining room constantly so I got this digital timer, went to the hydroponics store, got it. Um, you can't really see it, but it's pretty cool. It has eight different settings, or eight different on-off periods. So you can see here, it turns on at noon for three hours, and it's off for an hour and a half, on for three hours. And then closer to the evening at night, I only have it on and off every hour, so that way it won't be making as much noise. And then around 3.30 a.m. it'll be on for four and a half hours and off for an hour and a half and so on. But yeah, so we'll see how this works.